Dear friends, this is a short video to help you to identify alpha and beta carbon atom in an organic molecule. This is a general video. Definitely it will help you to study the organic chemistry, especially its mechanisms. You may hear about alpha and beta carbon atom. So let us come to the point. How can we identify a alpha or beta carbon atom? Consider a molecule that is H3, H2, OH. This is an alcohol. The properties of this molecule is entirely defined, entirely depends on this group. This is known as functional group. Or this group have a very important function in these molecules. Or the properties of this molecule is decided by these groups. So in each and every organic compound, there you can identify such type of groups. First of all, here OH is the most important group here. The carbon attached to the most important group is we call it as alpha carbon atom. This is we call it as alpha carbon atom. Here, so definitely we can say that it is a beta carbon atom. Now look at CH3, CH2, CHO. Here the, it is an aldehyde. The properties of this molecule is decided by these groups. Therefore, the carbon attached to this group is taken as this one. This is taken as alpha carbon atom. This is known as a beta carbon atom. This is a ketone similarly. Therefore, the properties is decided by this group. This group decides the properties of the molecule and the carbon attached to this group. That is one, one carbon here. That is one alpha carbon atom here and one alpha carbon atom here. Similarly, the hydrogen on the alpha carbon is known as alpha hydrogen. Here you can find that three alpha hydrogen and three alpha hydrogen total six alpha hydrogen. Here there are two alpha hydrogen etc etc. Here this molecule is an amine. Therefore NH2 is the most important group here. The carbon attached to this most important group is this carbon atom. This one, you can take this carbon atom as alpha carbon. These are beta carbon similarly. Look at uh, this molecule. This is a carboxylic acid molecule. COH group is the. Therefore, this is the most important group in this molecule. Therefore, this is taken as alpha carbon atom. The carbon attached to the most important group is we call it as alpha carbon atom. Again, here it is an, it's an ester. Therefore, this whole you can take it as a important group. Therefore, this carbon atom and this carbon atoms are we can take it as alpha carbon atom remember that this carbon atom and this carbon atoms are alpha carbon atom now look at it c3 c2 plus here it is known as a carbocation why it is known as carbocation because there is a plus charge therefore it, this molecule is a carbocation due to the presence of this group is there Therefore, this is the most important group in this molecule. In this molecule, the important group is this one. Therefore, this is taken as alpha carbon atom. It is a carbanion. Therefore, this is taken as the most important group. Therefore, this one and this one are taken as alpha carbon atom. Here, there are six alpha hydrogen is also the. Now, CH3, C, CH3, CH, this is the free radical. It is due to the presence of this group. Therefore, this is taken as alpha, this is alpha, and this is alpha. It is an alkyl. Why it is called so alkyl? Because of the presence of double bond. Therefore, this whole is taken as the most important group. The carbon attached to this most important group is this one. Therefore, this is taken as alpha carbon atom in this molecule. Now, here, in this case, you can find that. This is the most important group. That means benzene is the most important group or double bond is the most important group. The carbon attached to this double bond is this carbon atom. Therefore, this is taken as alpha carbon atom. Now, let us look at what are the importance of alpha and beta carbon atom and, and alpha and beta hydrogen atom in organic chemistry. Hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation is a very important factor. Uh, Hyperconjugation is possible only if there is alpha hydrogen. I will give you a detailed discussion on hyperconjugation in, in a new video. Similarly, you may hear about uh, Canizaro's reaction. Canizaro's reaction is possible only if there is no alpha hydrogen atom in the molecule. Look at here, in this case, there is CHO group is the most important most important group. There is no carbon attached to this CHO group. That is, that is, there is no alpha carbon atom. Therefore, there is no alpha hydrogen atom. Therefore, this molecule can undergo cancerous reaction very easily. 
look at CH3CHO. This is the most important carbon atom. Uh, sorry, it's the most important group in this molecule. It is attached, attached to this carbon atom. This is taken as alpha carbon atom. There is alpha hydrogen is there. Therefore, this molecule does not undergo Kinesaros reaction. Similarly, CHO is the most important group. Therefore, this is taken as the alpha carbon atom. There is no alpha hydrogen. Therefore, it can undergo Kinesaros reaction. Now, CHO group is the most important group. It is unconnected to this carbon atom. There is no alpha hydrogen here. Therefore, it can undergo Kinesaros reaction. Similarly, you may hear about aldol condensation. What is the condition for aldol condensation, student? That is, there is there should be alpha hydrogen atom here there is alpha hydrogen atom here there is no alpha hydrogen atom because there is no alpha carbon here here there is alpha hydrogen atom and beta hydrogen atom therefore it can undergo aldol reaction this cannot undergo reaction this can undergo reaction here again that is ch2cl this is the most important the functional group it is connected with this carbon atom it is connected there is two alpha hydrogen is also there this can also undergo aldol reaction similarly you may hear about tautomerism. I will give you a detailed class on tautomerism in the new, in the next lessons. Nevertheless, I want to tell you that what is the condition for a molecule to tautomerism that there are two types of tautomerism actually. One is we call it as ketoenol tautomerism and nitroacid tautomerism. What is the condition of ketoenol isomerism is that there should be a CO group should be there. Moreover, there should be alpha H is there. Therefore, in this molecule you can find that there is a CO group is there. Therefore, this is taken as alpha carbon atom and alpha, alpha, CH, alpha hydrogen is also there. This can undergo tautomerism. Here again, there is a CO group is there. It is connected with the alpha carbon atom, alpha carbon atom. This molecule can also undergo tautomerism. Here there is CO group is the CO group is the this is alpha carbon you can say this is alpha carbon this is again alpha carbon the difference is that this alpha carbon or this alpha hydrogen is in between highly electronegative CO group therefore this alpha hydrogen the peculiarity is that it is highly acidic this can undergo a totem this hydrogen is used for totemerism in this process I will explain the totemerism classes in detail similarly nitro acid this is the most important group that is connected with this alpha carbon atom this alpha carbon atom have alpha hydrogen atom this can also undergo that is a nitro acid type of tautomerism in details I will give you in a, another session beta elimination reaction you may hear about it here the chlorine is the most important group here that is connected with this carbon atom this is taken as beta position therefore this is also beta position this is a delta position here HCl will be removed the chlorine is from here itself hydrogen is removed from here if hydrogen is chlorine is removed from alpha position and hydrogen is removed from beta position that is known as beta elimination now similarly alpha elimination in this cases what will happen is that this reaction you can find in the reamer tiemann reaction what will happen is that here the removal is just like this way that is hydrogen is chlorine is from here hydrogen is from here itself this is the alpha carbon atom that is both the chlorine and hydrogen is removed from alpha portion due to this you will get a ccl2 um, carbene is the intermediate formed during reamer tiemann reaction here both the hydrogen and the chlorine is removed from alpha portion that is why it is called alpha elimination but in beta elimination chlorine is removed from alpha portion but hydrogen is removed from beta portion now one more point i want to mention here is that if there are more than one functional group which is taken as alpha and which is taken as beta for example coh and NH2. You know, during nomenclature system, COH is more prior COH have more priority than NH2. Therefore, COH is taken as the more prior group. The carbon attached to this more prior group is taken as alpha. Therefore, here it is alpha position. Here again, COH it is taken as it is alpha, it is beta. That is why so sometimes you may hear about it. This is known as a alpha amino acid this is known as a beta amino acid because here NH2 group is connected at beta position here NH2 group is connected at alpha position similarly you can do in the other examples also keep in mind that the most prior group should be taken as the most important group the carbon attached to that most prior group is taken as the alpha position the other one is beta position the things will be very clear if I think you may get some idea about this for alpha and beta portions. So 
it will be useful for you if you understand all these things especially on studying the mechanism of organic reaction thank you